When we look at money today, we're going to work with cent again, and this time we're going to work out the change. Remember, change is what the money that we get back after we've bought something. So if I want to buy this little bead, and I have a 10 cent coin, this is the sum that I'll write. I have 10 cents, and I have to take away 5 cents so that it can go to the shop when I buy my little bead. So all I'll do is I'll draw my 10 cent, just like a normal minus sum, and I'll take away my 5 cent. And when I touch and count, I see that I have 5 left over. But I can't write a 5 all by itself. I have to write 5 cent. So I have to write a C with my answer. Over here, it says that I've got 15 cent. So there's my 15 cent. And I want to buy this hairpin for 5 cent. So again, I will draw that. Over here, I have 15 cent and my button costs 10 cent. So I'll do a minus sum with that and I'll remember to write my C with the answer. For the next one, I have 20 cents. And this pin costs 5 cent. So I'll do my minus sum for that and remember my C for my answer. And here I have 20 cents and the hair clip costs 10 cents. So I'll do my minus sum for that one and see what my change will be.